Okay, so you might have seen our videos on the brand new Huawei P40 Pro, the smartphone with currently the best and most impressive camera out there. And Huawei has reached out once again sponsoring this video, as well as sending over their brand new Huawei Watch GT2e. This is a really, really unique smartwatch, and I'll see why in just a second. And as always, all opinions you see and hear in this video remain my own. Okay, so now let's play a little game. So I'm going to tell you some of the features of the GT2e, and you have to guess in the comments how much the smartwatch actually costs, and I'm going to reveal the price at the end of this video. Okay, ready? So it comes with a 46mm case, a 1.39 inch OLED display, so pretty standard so far, it comes with GPS, it comes with sleep tracking, okay, it comes with automatic workout detection, real-time heart rate monitoring, a 50 meter water resistance, an oxygen level meter, okay, sounds really good so far, then it works with any other smartphone out there, no matter what OS you're running. And then it also comes with a two-week battery life. Yes, not two days, but two full weeks while utilizing all of the watch's features. Impressed? Well, wait until you hear the rest. So, without any further ado, here's everything you need to know in terms of the Huawei Watch GT2e. Okay, so first things first. The unboxing experience is pretty straightforward. The GT2e comes in this very stylish looking black box, inside of which we get the watch itself, followed by USB Type-A to USB Type-C charging cable, and the watch charger as well, which by the way is a magnetic charger, so it will automatically attach to the watch, no need to fiddle around with aligning it or anything like that. We also get a quick start guide, and that's pretty much it. Now, to get started, you need to download Huawei Health, uh, which you can find on all mobile app stores. You might also need to download Huawei mobile services if you have a non-Huawei smartphone. But once you have those two, it's a pretty straightforward process. Okay, now when it comes to the actual smartwatches themselves, there are six things that I personally care about the most. And those are number one, the design, number two, customizability, number three, fitness features, number four, battery life, number five, any special features that the watch might have, and then finally, number six, the value. So how does the GT2e perform in each of these categories? Starting off with the design, the GT2e resembles Huawei's recently released Huawei GT2. The only difference being that the E is more sporty and it is aimed at people who are always on the move, or just younger people in general, as we do get quite a few color options for this. We get the graphite black, which is the one that we have right here, with a black 316L stainless steel body and a black sport band. Then we have the lava red model, followed by the mint green and icy white, both of which come with a silver 316L stainless steel frame. And the band is now integrated into the body. So while yes, you can indeed remove the band and replace it if you choose to do so, the band continues the flow of the GT2e's design. And it does look really, really nice, especially on my model right here. It looks as if they were made from the exact same material. And the GT2e also has an integrated glass display, meaning that the border that you see here with the minutes is actually underneath the glass. So if you run your finger over the face of the watch, it all feels like one single piece. And the display itself is also laminated, so there's no visible gap between the display and the glass. I really do like the way this watch looks from the front. Definitely one of my favorite design-wise. Speaking of the display, we get a 1.39 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 454 by 454 and a PPI of 326. This display, by the way, is razor sharp, so you don't have to worry about seeing any pixels on it at all. And we don't really have anything else on the sides, aside from these two buttons. The top one being used for bringing up the app menu, while the bottom one can be customized into opening a custom app. Now, by default, it is set to opening up the Workouts app, which is what I would recommend most people to leave it set to. And finally, on the back, we have an array of four sensors, which are used for measuring your heart rate and also the amount of oxygen in your blood, which I'll be getting back to when I'm talking about health and fitness. Overall, it's a very sleek looking smartwatch that weighs just 43 grams without a strap, so it's very lightweight and perfect for anyone who's into sports and wants a lightweight smartwatch that also looks great on the wrist. Okay, so now how much can you actually customize the GT2e? Well, you get four models to choose from, which are all 46 millimeters in size. And while you can indeed change the bands as they have a traditional smartwatch band mechanism, only the genuine Huawei bands would look great as this is how the watch was designed in the first place. So that the bands actually continue the design of the watch itself. So the customization with the bands is pretty limited. 
Now, when it comes to watch faces, you get 12 different watch faces pre-installed. But if you want to get some more, you can just open up the Huawei Health app on your smartphone. And from there, you can actually find literally hundreds of watch faces which were created either by Huawei or by other members in the community. They're all absolutely free, so you don't need to pay for any of these. And there are so, so many of them that I kept on scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and it took me quite some time until I reached the end of the watch face list. I just wish that they were organized in some way because it was quite difficult finding what I was looking for. Uh, they were all just there. <laughs> but if you care about having a large selection of watch faces, you get plenty of them to choose from, with even more coming soon. And with some watch faces, you can indeed change the widgets and what they show you to something else. However, most of the watch faces are fixed and you cannot really change them in any other way. Okay, now moving on to fitness features, this is by far the GT2e's strongest point. So aside from the lightweight body and the sporty look, the GT2e also has a 50 meter water resistance. So if you're a swimmer or even a diver, you can easily handle that. You can obviously take a shower or a bath with it, so that's all fine. Now on top of this, the GT2e also supports tracking for 100 different types of workout, including automatic workout detection for outdoor running, outdoor walking, indoor walking, indoor running, elliptical, and rowing. And on top of this, you also have a built-in GPS, meaning that if you go out for a run without your phone, your watch will still be able to accurately track your run and put it on the map for you. It also comes with a heart rate monitor, which not only supports real-time heart rate monitoring, so the gt 2 e can essentially constantly measure your heart rate all the time, as opposed to measuring it just every 10 minutes or so, like most smartwatches do. But it also supports heart rate monitoring while you're swimming which is actually new for me. Like I haven't seen this on any other smartwatch before as the water usually affects the heart rate sensors. But this doesn't seem to be an issue for the GT2e. And if your heart rate is too high or too low for more than 10 minutes, you'll get a notification to alert you of that. Now, something very unique about this watch that very few on the market can actually do is that the GT2e can also measure the amount of oxygen in your blood as opposed to just your heart rate. This actually got introduced in an April software update and what it does is that it allows you to see the percentage of oxygen in your blood. So if this is above 90%, you're good. If it's below that, then you either need to take a break from exercising or you might even have a medical condition. And this is such a great new feature to have as a lack of oxygen can cause fatigue. So if you're feeling tired, it might be because the room that you're in isn't oxygenated well enough. And this watch can make you aware of that. So excellent fitness tracking capabilities with the GT2e. Then like I mentioned before, the fourth important thing for me in a smartwatch is of course the battery life. Now, most smartwatches last for about a day. Very few can last for two days and there are a few that can last you for weeks but then you have to enter this ultra power saving mode which disables pretty much everything on the watch and only shows you the time on a display that no longer has backlight. But somehow, somehow, Huawei managed to get two weeks of battery life out of this. And this is two weeks without even enabling the power saving mode, which this watch, by the way, doesn't even have because it just doesn't need one. So how on earth has Huawei achieved two weeks of battery life when others can only do one single day? Well, there are a few reasons. First of all, the Huawei GT2e runs on Huawei's own operating system. Then two, there are no third-party apps supported at all. So everything that this watch can do is already built into it. You cannot download any more apps or any more functionality to it, which means that Huawei doesn't need to have full control over the software experience. And finally, number three, the GT2e is powered by Huawei's own Kirin A1 processor, which is Huawei's first wearable chip featuring dual Bluetooth 5.1, as well as an ultra low power power management unit. So there we go, this is why we get a two week battery life. We have no third party apps, and then both the software as well as the hardware are fully made by Huawei. Okay, so, so far we get a watch with an insane battery life and some of the best fitness capabilities that I've seen on a watch. It's just that we have no third party app support and customization in terms of the bands is pretty limited. So what special features does it actually come with? Well, first it works with any mobile operating system. You just need to download Huawei's health app and you're good to go. And just to make it clear, even if you don't have any third party apps, you will still get notifications from all of your apps on your phone, even if those apps are third party apps. It's just that you cannot interact with them, you cannot respond to those messages, you can still see them, you just cannot interact with them. 
Then, number two, and this is definitely the biggest special feature, and that is the fact that thanks to that insane two-week battery life, we finally get sleep tracking. And while you're sleeping, the GT2e will measure your heart rate in real time, your breathing, and then provides you with eight sleep quality reports with suggestions on how to improve your sleep quality. This is definitely my favorite feature on it as this is something that I was not able to experience before with any other smartwatch that I've used. Then number three, we also get stress monitoring. 24 seven actually stress monitoring, which will provide some advice on how to live a healthier stress-free life. And then number four, we also get some really cool small extra features that definitely do make this an even more impressive smartwatch. So we get things such as an always on display, then the ability to control your music straight from your watch, remote shutter for your Huawei's phone's camera, as well as the ability to locate your phone, plus a few more apps that this watch has, such as a barometer to measure your altitude, a compass for finding your location, a weather app, a breathing app, and quite a few more. And finally, how much does the GT2e actually cost and what is the overall value that you're getting from it? Well, the GT2e is now on sale and it costs 160 pounds in the UK. Now that's significantly less than what I was expecting it to cost and it's almost half the price of other smartwatches or even more than half the price in some cases. And while you're not getting as much customizability in terms of the bands, watch faces and apps like you do with some other smartwatches, you are indeed getting one of the very best fitness capabilities out there with the ability to measure your heart rate while you're swimming, 50 meter water resistance, real time heart rate monitoring, and an oxygen and stress level meters as well as GPS. And of course, you're still getting all of your notifications from your phone right on your wrist. And on top of that, you also get an insane two week battery life with sleep tracking capabilities as well. And if you're looking to get one, I've left a link in the description. And if you use the coupon code AZONEOFTECH20, you also get a 20 pound discount. This offer is valid until April the 30th. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the GTV smartwatch and what smartwatch do you currently have now? And if you don't have one, well, what's, what's, what are the main features that you would want to see in a smartwatch? Um, I would definitely consider this. Really good price, really great features, and a two-week battery life, really good deal. So check it out using the link below. I'm Daniel, definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Enable notifications by tapping on the bell icon. But yeah, I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Son of Tech, signing out. Cheers.